We're here with Larry Graff from Aspen Power Catamarans. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time. And of course, Daisy the boat dog. Yeah, Ultimate she's boat a boating there. buddy for me. Yeah. What a sweetie. Yeah. What a sweet boat, Larry. Yeah. Yeah, we've so, seen these around for years. But, so, Rob, uh, this is um, our new 35. So it's a kay. C-108, and uh, it's a Power Pro Catamaran, mm -hmm. which is kind of unusual. I'm, I'm kind of thrifty, and I like to have a boat that's very, very fuel efficient. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this has two hulls that are different sizes, actually. They kind of look similar from profile, but you know from uh, the top view the different shapes the port we hole is look right yeah, down the tunnel here yeah the port hole is actually 35 percent thinner than the starboard hull oh. and when you reduce the beam of a hull by 35 percent the effort for it to slide through the water goes mm -hmm. down by 60 percent so thinner is better having the one bigger hull lets me have that hull that's got the access to the stateroom and the bigger mm -hmm. bathroom and shower and all those kind of things but um it's a pretty special hull shape we've built about 120 of them so far so back here, you know, I mean, first nose here, the first three feet is um, boxed in and foam filled. Mm -hmm. So if you, you could cut the nose off and no water would come in. Um, bow this thruster is a there. bow thruster, and then we have a stern thruster as well. Is that a little splash guard? What's that? Yeah, with a high speed displacement hull, there's a little layer, this is a water line, there's a little layer of water that sticks to the hull okay. as you're cruising really quickly. Mm -hmm. And this flips it off so you don't have any spray in the window. It runs oh, very, very dry. Gotcha. And then it's just super solid. Oh yeah, you can feel that. Rub yeah. rail. Big rub rail. You can feel how solid that is. Yeah, huh. and it's composite construction and uh, you know, then you've got uh, motor pods here that let you put on uh, the two different engines. The starboard engine is a 200 horse Merc and the port is a 115. That's what and really caught my eye is a catamaran with two different size outboards and we'll show you that in a minute when we get yeah. up on top. Yeah. But uh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. No, it's very, it's, it's all about efficiency yeah. and, and it's with the mounted out here, it's very quiet as well mm -hmm. um, and smooth and quiet and any noise is out behind the, the transom. So if you're cruising inside and you shut the bulkheads, mm -hmm. it's so quiet that you can, the only thing you hear is the, the spray running alongside of the hull. Yeah. So very, very fun place to be. Yeah. Well, let's jump inside. Take all a right, walk around. Let's do it. Okay, Rob, so on this one, um, you know, it's a 35, and we put a 115 on the port hull, mm -hmm. which is the 35% thinner hull. And then the starboard hull has got the 200. Um, they both run at the same RPM. Hmm. Um, they both have the same gear ratio. Yeah. And the propeller pitches are almost identical as well. We huh. set it up so that when you're cruising, you just match RPMs and you're they good to go. They don't fight each other? They work no, it just matches up and goes. It's in sync. Oh, and if you darn. think about it, the propeller is proportional in size to the horsepower that you've got. Mm -hmm. and, and it just, you know, I mean, it, I thought it would work and then we tested it and it yeah. does work. You know? I remember and, talking to you before about, about your power catamarans and you told me how fuel efficient they were. So, Rob, this Incredibly is at fuel cruise efficient. speed, uh, 17 knots, so 19 miles an hour. Yeah. Um, it's using eight and a half gallons an hour. Jeez. Just super Total efficient. Yeah, consumption. total, both motors, that is eight and a half. unheard of. And if you pick it up to run at, say, uh, 19, 20 miles an hour, yeah. it's only using about 10 or 11 gallons an hour. I huh. mean, a ski boat usually uses like 12 or 15 oh, gallons for an sure. hour. At wide open throttle, it'll burn 22 gallons an hour, and that's a speed of about 29, 30 miles an hour. So, wow. so it's very efficient and soft riding, and it just doesn't pound like most boats. Yeah. So, uh, we had a new owner just, we were talking to, we just, you know, playing with it over in Florida this week, and and he's just absolutely stunned. He was out in three to four footers his first time with his friends, and he just said it was just like a magic carpet on the water. Unreal. Really Those thin sponsors just sliced yeah, right through everything. Yeah, they slice through. Yeah. It's a high-speed displacement hull. You know, most boats are planing boats where, by definition, they have to come out and plane on the surface. Mm -hmm. We're a high-speed displacement hull. We just mm -hmm. slide through. It's kind of mm -hmm. like an airplane wing on edge sliding yeah. through the waves. Yeah. If you had time, we could show you our videos with the boats. We do demos. With, we were doing demos in the videos with up to 50 knot winds, and we're out with customers demoing the boats. Wow. You just Daisy wouldn't... likes that too. She likes the nice calm ride too. She does. Yeah. My phone's ringing. I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Walk through transom, Larry, up onto a gorgeous F deck here. Yeah. See a big cooler seat in here. Huge cooler, Burmese teak table. Gorgeous. It's removable and it mm -hmm. comes with a little bag so you can store it nicely. Yeah. Um, this cockpit's a really nice size cockpit. It's mm -hmm. um, you know, about nine feet wide and about five and a half feet front to back. Mm -hmm. um, and it's crowned a little bit so the water can run off the sides. Okay. There's gutters and scuppers um, for these big hatches. Mm -hmm. um, you've got storage in the side for your downrigger balls and Mm -hmm. engine oil, things like that, mm -hmm. um, water fills on either side. I want to show you this, Rob, down here as um, our, like one of our storage hatch. areas. And, you know, it's not like... 
Look at that. It's almost another stateroom. Look at that. It's huge. Jeez. And you can see how the, huh. the hoses and wires are all supported about every eight or 10 inches. Oh yeah. Notice the machined labels for everything. Mm -hmm. So the battery boxes are labeled what they do on Plus the side of the hull, the water, water pumps are all labeled. Yeah. And it's not like a paper label. It's actually a machine that's label that's bonded. Yeah, yeah, I hate that stuff. Even the honor side of this, it's base coated, which a lot of guys do. But then we go back and clear coat it with a yeah. uh, linear polyurethane mm -hmm. so that it won't absorb any moisture, which means it won't grow mold. You know how the bottom mold side of a lot of hatches get moldy? moldy. Yeah. I don't like that. Even the hardware here is great big heavy-duty hardware with a gasket and an O-ring in it so that Keep it doesn't leak up. inside of it. Look at the size of the hinges here, too. Yeah, I know. Beefy Great hinges. big hardware there. Yeah. Um, this is a real nice table. And, uh, you know, you've got a place to sit here mm -hmm. um, and, you know, just have a drink and enjoy the day if you want. Heck yeah. Um, and then like when it. you're done, you know, and you're done with the boat, there's a cover for this, too. But mm -hmm. when you're leaving the boat, mm -hmm. this is removable. So, oh, you know, yeah. you can take that. So the that. weather's not going to. Right. You don't have to worry about it getting Impact old. These things. Yeah. And then these are removable too, mm -hmm. really quickly. Okay. Um, this uh, port light here is uh, ventilation and light for there's another stateroom underneath the dinette. Mm -hmm. And then. Love the overhang here too. Yes. Yeah. You, get, you know, if it's pouring down rain, you can come in and kind yeah. of open the door without having to yeah. stand in the rain, which is nice. There's sink and refrigerator there as yes. well. Yes. Let me show you that. So. Um, these are uh, Novacool refrigerators we use, mm -hmm. and it's a much more efficient pump, um, and, and its insulation is super, really good insulation, mm -hmm. so it doesn't use a lot of electricity, mm -hmm. which is nice. And if you dial it up, you can actually turn it into a freezer. Hmm. Um, the uh, Fusion sound system we use oh, yeah. has uh, coaxial speakers in it. They're more expensive, really mm -hmm. sounds good, too. Yeah. Then having an outside sink is pretty handy, oh, so yeah, that's for nice. Sure. So, yeah. um, and then to get up onto the deck trail here, there's two steps. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the gals wanted, they were like, one step, a lot of boats have one step, it wasn't yeah. comfortable, so they wanted that. Here's one more big storage area, too, on the port side. Yeah. And, you know, you can see the storage. This is the waste tank. Mm -hmm. I always put the waste tanks out away from where people are sleeping. Mm -hmm. And when I have the tanks made, I have them put an extra load of the pellets that melt it in mm -hmm. there so that the tank is like a quarter of an inch thick. Oh, Some of the guys yeah. will use a water tank which will let the fumes permeate through. I don't mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And then the hoses that we use are Trident Marine hoses made in the United States. And, and the ones that run forward are all triple wall hose. Mm -hmm. So you just don't have the smell that a lot of guys do. Mm -hmm. And then notice too that every hose in the boat has two hose clamps I on it. I see that. And yeah. they oppose each other. Again, mm -hmm. supported nice. The gas spring is stainless steel. Mm -hmm. um, big gutters and scuppers. It's, it's just sort of like a very boaty boat, if you will. Yeah, for <laughs> okay? sure. Back here, we have um, another storage area here. Mm -hmm. I normally put my cleaning supplies there. Mm -hmm. And then farther back is a, another storage area that's got the winch for the Easy Davit. And then this mm -hmm. is the propane locker here. Mm -hmm. And uh, over here, you've got battery switches or something in yeah. here yeah there you go yeah so you can come right on the boat turn your batteries on right jump up in the cabin do whatever exactly you do. and yeah. this table here is completely removable um and then there's a if we didn't put it on for the show but there's a stainless steel easy davit assembly that's mm -hmm. motorized that tips down kneels into the water you pull the dinghy up push a button brings a big dinghy 10 foot dinghy up put your carbon cat right on there that's right you know. and yeah. everybody's getting a carbon cat at i this know point. i've seen them all over the place yeah yeah as we come forward here uh, you know, the, the walkway here is wider than our earlier boats by about eight inches. Mm -hmm. This is Amtico synthetic flooring material. It's used in commercial kitchens. And if you see like the, the grain and the knots and stuff like mm -hmm. that, that, that color goes clear through just like it would in real wood. So as it wears, it doesn't actually oh, age. Yeah. Some of the guys use basically a painted on kind of a flooring. It's got a veneer on the top. It's and then very the thin. second you scratch it, you're done. Right. Yeah. This is real flooring. Uh, if it works in a commercial kitchen, it'll work in a boat real mm -hmm. nice. It's expensive, but it lasts a long time. Yeah. You've got, um, you know, nice drawers here. And, uh, Boy, these cushions and then ultra leather great, yeah. for the cushions. Um, uh, twin berth here. And the way this works is you've got a, uh, the end of the bed flips around, and then there's a step underneath. We can probably bring the camera around and show you that. So there's two steps to get in. So you can sit on the bed and tire shoes and things mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. and that's six foot four long and the width of a twin mm -hmm. so that's nice um, here you've got drawers for pots and pans and things like that all Burmese teak um, and on stainless steel slides 
Um, one thing, grab that seat there, mm -hmm. and I want to go. show you this customer, the first customer for the C108, they played bridge, and she needed another seat for one of her oh, yeah. friends for playing bridge, and so we we did that for Perfect her. Perfect solution there. Fun? And you can even get power reclining seats on this if you want. So you push a button, the seat comes out, reclines, you put your foot up, you got a lazy boy too. Wow. You got to have those options, you know, right? Look at all the interior finishes here. Yeah, all done yeah. more like a yacht than, than most boats. Yeah. Um, this is a swing table here too, where, you know, for, for certain situations, you kind of want to get it out of the way. And you can just push it out and it's more mm -hmm. open and kind of more conversational, if you will. It doesn't feel so much like a dinette. Um, this is an area here that opens up enormous storage area. Um, you know, food and things like that typically in there. And you just push the spring and you're in there. Mm -hmm. Comes with a microwave. Um, here you've got a, a, a shelving unit, but what's not so you don't expect is like it goes back in there that far. It's big, okay? Really deep and storage area. Really there. nicely done. Mm -hmm. And then you know the storage underneath the sink on most boats? It's two doors that open up and you can't get to it. You have to move everything to get to it. I hated that, so we gave you a nice big drawer, okay? And you can get to everything. I love this drawer. Um, here you've got the refrigerator. Um, you know, good size, good here. size counter. The owners yeah. get to pick the the uh, Corian colors and the backsplashes and things like that. Big sink too. Usually it's a dinky little right. sink in these yeah. boats, and that's a nice, nice big, big sink, sink, usable. Look at how the interior's done, though. This is this is these craftsmen are that I have are just amazing. Look at the backsplash. Yeah, yeah. So other thing that's kind of fun is um, if you um, put the throttles forward a little bit, this tips up. So now yeah. you've got you know place to set things here in a lot more prep area than a lot of boats have. So mm -hmm. that's neat. Um, with this down, when you're out cruising, this was set up for your binoculars to sit alongside you. There's a 110 volt outlet there. Um, if you're out cruising and need a beer, cooler's right underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that's super important that we do that a lot of companies don't is you know the co-pilot mm -hmm. uh, in a lot of percentage of the time has veto power and most boat designers give the co-pilot co-purchaser person with veto power a really crummy place to sit mm -hmm. in an aspen it's an afterthought usually <laughs> Right? Yeah. yeah. In an Aspen, the co-pilot gets the exact same seat and the same view as the pilot. Yeah. They get a footrest and will adjust the height of the footrest to fit them. Um, this is kind of funny. This customer is six foot eight or nine tall. Look at how far down we had to move the step here for him. to have. That's where he needed the step. I, I'm pretty tall and I have the step a foot higher than that, but this customer's got a lot of legs. So that was where he needed it. That's where we put it. So here's the helm and... Uh, We've got room for a, uh, this is a 10 inch screen, that's a 12 inch screen. All of the ship controls and switches and stuff are right there. When you're cruising down the bay, you have just exceptional visibility. You don't have any posts right in front of you to look through. Um, and uh, both co pilot and pilot can see what switches are on and what computers are in motion. Mm -hmm. um, this is your DC panel in the center here. And then on the right side is the AC panel. Again, you can see what's going on. Stereo is right here. You have a nice glove box. Um, this is your water gauge, your waste gauge, your water gauge. Um, nice stereo system around here. And when you're cruising, you also have windows on both sides, and you both pilot and co-pilot have hatches above. So if it's hot, you have control over your temperatures, you know, on your seat, which is nice. When we come down here, um, it's a nice, nice big area here. So, so here we're downstairs uh, and forward. And this is uh, something that's unique to Aspen. All of our boats, even our 28s, have a king size bed. And this is actually five inches longer and five inches wider than a king. One of the reasons we sold to this customer, he's so tall. And I typically sleep a thwart ship with the pillows on the far side so that in the middle of the night, if somebody has to get up, you can get up without having to crawl over each other. And that's really nice. Um, uh, and this mattress here is a tri density foam mattress where the first two inches is a very soft foam. Then it switches to a three inch mattress foam and then there's a closed cell foam behind that. So it really has a nice feel to it. Um, we've actually had to build a mattress for a customer at their house because they were sleeping better on their boat and they're like, just could you build me one? So we did. <laughs> um, you've got a bookshelf up forward. There's a light in that. Um, the reading lights forward are standard. The leading, reading lights on the end are an option. 
This customer uses a CPAP machine. There's a little table in the far corner with an outlet, um, and uh, there's a heater duct over there. On the boats that go to Florida, we have air conditioning duct over there too. You can start to see around the side here, and we'll get some better pictures of that, but the um, behind the dash is where you see the ends of all the wiring coming together, and everything is supported. All the wire is made um, by um, Cobra in Michigan, and it's tinned copper wire. All the electrical components are Blue Sea Systems from Bellingham, Washington. I try, try really hard to use U.S.-made components everywhere I can. They tend to be the very best. And I'd like this boat to last 100 years, and I'd like the wiring harness to last that long, too. So, you know, every choice we make is about have it, how does this last a long time and be a very good value for the customer. Mm -hmm. And then resale value. stay. If you build it really well, the resale value stays super high. This customer, again, being really tall, his shirts are really tall. So we had to make him a really tall hanging locker. <laughs> All right. And, you know, we can do stuff like that. Well, our Teak team is amazing. I'd put them against anybody in the world. This is a clothes hamper. What do you do with your dirty clothes when you're out cruising? Um, this is a uh, shelf here. There's a latch here and the bed comes up. There's a storage area under there about 10 inches thick for customers to put their clothes and things like that. On my boat, it's interesting. My wife fills this up. She fills that up and I get a duffel bag. But, you know, <laughs> I'm happy to have her along. Um, here we are in the bathroom and uh, this is a good sized bathroom. It's about uh, uh, 24 inches wide and, and probably four feet long. Um, you know, again, you get to pick the Corian counter and you get to pick what kind of a sink you want. Um, it's got a mirror up above, a mirror below. Uh, we've got, you know, little cubby holes with storage. And again, a lot of guys don't give you places to put your shampoo and things away. We even give you a drawer for your, your toothbrush if it doesn't have the curtains in it. Um, here you've got storage underneath the sink too. Um, the TV holders on the back of that. Um, and, um, you know, nice Burmese teak door. One thing that's nice too, if you look at the door, you see how it's got ventilation in the top and at mm -hmm. the bottom? A lot of boats, they will um, they don't give any air to flow, and you'll end up with mold, and it's kind of cold, mm -hmm. damp spaces. You really don't want that. So, uh, uh, port light here, place to hold your towel holder here, and look at this. There's even a skylight. So, you know, I don't like things that turn out to kind of caves. Um, we've opened this up for the show to show a lithium battery bank and a Victron battery charger. Mm -hmm. This is a Lithonix battery that's, uh, I think, 500 amp hours. All of it, and it only weighs 180 pounds. Yeah. And that's made in the United States, too. Again, safest battery for lithium that you can buy. It's not um, an overseas thing where they've taken a bunch of D cells and soldered them together and put them in a plastic box, a nice sticker. This is actually a great battery, which is kind of what we want. Um, and this is a really big bed. You know, it can also be a storage area. Some people kind of smile, but I didn't want to waste the space. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I go cruising with this boat with my grandkids, I've got twins, and the, and, and the girls love to sleep in here together. Mm -hmm. So a fort in there, you know. Yeah, it's kind of like a fort. And this yeah. just bifolds across mm -hmm. and uh, latches, Beautiful. and they can pull the trigger from either side. Mm -hmm. uh, nice marine head, Dometic there. And um, then there's a curtain here and an overhead track. It's kind of hard to see, but I don't know if you can see, but this goes mm -hmm. around. And you actually have a curtain where this area is uh, your shower, and your shower wand comes out of the mm -hmm. sink, hangs up here, and you've got a wonderful shower with elbow room and everything else. Beautiful. So, yeah, so that's kind of the bathroom. Okay, so Rob, here we're up on the side deck trail, and I wanted to mm -hmm. show you some fun things here. So first thing is you have big handholds here. Um, when we were designing the boat originally, um, you know, it's often it's it's the you know wife or partner going up on the front deck and they want to get to the anchor. Mm -hmm. And they were like, I don't necessarily need both deck trails to be big, but I got to have one way to get front that's safe. Yeah. And so we've got big handholds here and a big giant inch and a quarter rail here. That, yeah. And even the even a little lip here on the edge mm -hmm. of the deck trail too. So that's neat. A couple of uh, big solar panels And then you have, panels these are here. 200 watt scientific grade solar panels. Mm -hmm. So they'll put out about 12 to 14 amps during mm -hmm. uh, you know, a day yeah. uh, per hour. Mm -hmm. and, and your refrigerators are the biggest load, which are about five and a half amps. So hmm. this lets you run Ma the refrigerators maintain and the charge the batteries up from yeah. when there was no sun during the night. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so it's kind of designed to do that. This mass assembly with the uh, uh, radar, you pull that pin in front. I see where that whole thing folds back. And the whole back. thing folds back. And then when you're on the trailer, the mm -hmm. highest point is this kayak rack here. Hmm. And it's uh, 12 feet, 8 inches. You mentioned you trailer. Are. Yeah. This is trailerable. Absolutely. It's the biggest you can trailer. It's, yeah. And with the truck and trailer, it's 65 feet, which mm -hmm. is exactly the length that the private party can tow. 
I towed one to Annapolis, Maryland last mm -hmm. year, you know, from Seattle in three and a half days, did yeah. the show for a week, yeah. came back in three and a half days. Wow. Nice drive. My co-pilot was Daisy. Yeah. That's a great co-pilot. <laughs> yeah. Another thing that's fun, mm -hmm. I don't know if we can lean back where you can see it, the glass that we do on the sides and the back mm -hmm. is special. It's um, PPG Solar Guard, mm -hmm. and um, it has a ceramic coating that's baked on at like 1800 degrees. And, and it's kind of a mirror finish like you'd see on a skyscraper. Built-in tint right there. Yeah, and it reflects the sun's energy right back out. Mm -hmm. So the inside stays way cooler than most boats by having the solar guard glass. Out of everything, Larry. Most guys won't do it because it's expensive. Mm -hmm. um, these rails, great big solid rails. And look at this. I mean, yeah, yeah. you see any deflection at no, all? Uh, I mean, it is solid. Rock solid. Yeah, and where it goes into the boat, I put it, it's an inch thick where it mounts into the mm -hmm. boat um, with the coring section. Yeah. These are four big overhead hatches. If you look at the finish here, this is um, Armor Coat Gel Coat. And it's made by Polant, and it is the best gel coat known to man. And it just holds up. If you look at my boats that are, you've been in the shop and yeah, seen I've been some in of the, the shop. older boats. Oh, yeah. Remember, half of those were five They or still ten look years. like this. I've got everywhere. owners that have made um, strips that go across where they, they put their crab pots For on. For sure, yeah. Um, as we go forward, you got a dual trumpet horn here. Um, this is the new uh, Garmin uh, 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 GPS compass. Mm -hmm. So that's got two antennas in it that are like 12 inches apart, and, be and it pings a satellite that's 1,200 miles away. And because mm -hmm. of that antenna, it can tell what the orientation of the boat is. You don't have to do that reset all the time with north up as you move oh, yeah, farther up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. And this is a new, um, new camera. A new camera that worked, a night vision camera, mm -hmm. a lower cost one, and it seems to work nicely. Mm -hmm. um, we use the smart plugs here. Um, Pretty this, wide walkway around here, easy to get up here, Larry. Yeah. Okay, so Rob, here we're up on the front deck, and uh, some things that are special. The glass here is tempered safety glass, um, and it's from New York, again, mm -hmm. U.S. made. Uh, wipers are pantograph wipers, but they're also intermittent if you want, um, just like your car. And then washers are standard, Washer too. Washer fluid in there. Because you always crazy? get that salt spray that dries on well, there. Well, not the so much on an Aspen, but, but you well, know, you if know. it rains, yeah, I mean, yeah, it can you get those spots it, occasionally. And, yeah, I know. But you, <laughs> My boats you know really dry. About. And um, then here, you can stand yeah, on look this. At, this is a Lumar hatch made in the United States again, super solid. Yeah. Um, you know, there's non-skid on the deck here. Mm -hmm. um, this is a windless. Lumar windless. and. Yeah. The reason I do the Lumar windlass, again, made in the U.S., mm -hmm. it's a stainless steel piece. Some of the guys use windlasses that are powder coated, and that works great for about three or four years. Again, I'm trying to build a boat that could last 100 years. Yeah. I want a surface that's never going to fail, and mm -hmm. that stainless steel that's polished will go forever. Um, oh, that's a good thing to peek into. And Let's it's got the there. bitter end. Um, notice the pie there. Do you know when you're going to need to use that pie? In about six or eight years, when those nav lights um, mm -hmm. age out, oh yeah, you already have the pie to get in and get to the wire. You've got the access to get yeah. right through there. And you're only going to need it in five to seven years. But mm -hmm. I don't want I don't want anybody having to drill holes in my boat other than my guys. Yeah, you know, you don't want to have things that are inaccessible. You have thought of everything, my we, friend. We try. <laughs> got here. The buttons for the windlass oh, there. Yeah, right there, and then there's also control at the dash too. So mm -hmm. when I'm by myself, I can just drop the anchor. One of the things that I like about the Lumar windlass and the way we've got it set up, we've got the buttons to control it up here, mm -hmm. but I also put a separate control at the dash. So when I'm when my co-pilot's Daisy, I'm by myself. Yeah. I can you know anchor around, move around the anchorage, push a button, and I can drop the anchor from inside really conveniently. Thanks for taking the time, Larry. Oh, it's been great. Got a heck of a boat here, man. And that unique outboard configuration. Isn't it? Never great. seen that Super anywhere efficient. before. Yeah. I remember last year I was at your shop going through some of these boats and I was like, that just caught my eye. I mean, the boat's eye catching to begin with. Yeah, I think but, you were uh, amazed. Yeah. And I, I talked to you at that time too, and you just you explained to me how fuel efficient these things yeah, are. Yeah. Yeah. Eight yeah. and a half gallons an hour at, at 17 knots. That's unheard of. Yeah. With yeah. a top speed of almost 30. Incredible design. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks for taking the time. AspenPowerCatamarans.com. Right. Yep, that's that it. Phone number? AspenPowerCatamarans.com, 360-668-4347. There you go. Best Aspen, boats on the planet. AspenPowerCatamarans.com. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you next time here on Live to Boat. All right.